seeing your 28 year old daughter become disabled in such a you know massive way we had to change our whole lifestyle in order for her to come home and you know be able to take care of her so it's been it's been difficult but you know we've been enduring and we we will endure i was pregnant with my second child in july of 2010 um, six months pregnant uh, the is complications um, with pneumonia so i went to the hospital and had to have an emergency c-section and became septic and uh, had something called DIC. Sepsis, it's, it stops the circulation to the limbs, and so that's, I had to have uh, amputations in January. Go ahead and fire that muscle, hon, see if you can't open it. See, so she's firing her, her bicep. She'll have to operate a prosthetic elbow, and the same myoelectric signal that she's generating from her muscle will flex and extend an elbow as well as open and close a, a myoelectric hand. When the prosthetics are done, it'll be just one electrode that opens and closes the hand instead of two. How do you like them apples? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no textbook or manual that teaches you how to fit the quadrilateral amputee. So in our profession, we, you know, we use time, training, and technology to kind of move forward um, and make changes where we need to, um, obviously, to help our patient. Everybody is saying you're going to be driving one day, you know. So, <laughs> so we're so you know glad that you know she's able to to have this opportunity to, to have her limbs back. I'm always amazed at the resolve of of all of our patients, really. But Shannon in particular is amazing because I can make these arms, I can make these legs, but I can't make them work. You know, she has to make them work, and um, I know I know she will. It's going to be a lot of therapy. I still have a long way to go because, you know, with the arms and having both arms and legs, it's definitely a lot of coordination that has to happen and balance. You know, it's, it's a definitely a long road still, but God and praying is what is what keeps me going. And then my son is, you know, second, but definitely that is, is what keeps me going.